Hi everyone, it's UK Manic Luma and I'm here with an 8 pin bar design by 2 in length and this one is done by Dreaming Out Loud who is now naming herself The Looming Artist but you can find her under both names so the details will be in the description box below if you want to start following her if you're not already but if you're subscribed to my channel you most probably are because I do a lot of her designs because she's just such a fabulous designer and I really enjoy it. Um, let me show you a picture on her Instagram page. It's scrolled right down sort of middle way on there. There you go. So this is called the Vertebrae Bracelet. Now I have noticed that there is another bracelet that was done six months ago called the Vertebrae Bracelet as well. So after discussing with the Looming Artist, aka Dreaming Out Loud, we've decided to call it the Vertebrae Cuff Bracelet because the other one is a fishtail design, okay? So let's get on with this. This is her design picture and this is my rendition. So let me just hold that up for you. So this is done all in sweets. We've got the sweets orange, deep lilac, the spearmints, the blue, baby blue and the pale pastel pink and this one is approximately two looms length and I can assure you it does not fit my wrist so it's a very tight design I can just show you now that was two looms length so you might if you want a full wrap you're going to have to do possibly just under three loom lengths or just put an extension on it okay right let's get on with it it is an eight pin bar design and we're going to start on the first pin bar we're going to go across inwards diagonally down diagonally down across diagonally up diagonally up and then across okay so go ahead and oh nearly forgot this has a fair amount of tension in it it's not a high one i'd say about a medium but as i always say Brace up to the best of your abilities and you can't go wrong. So go ahead and do your loom and when you're ready, just press play. Okay, let's get started. Today I am going to be doing it in dual layer bands. Now, this is quite nerve wracking for me, I suppose, because I've never used dual layer bands. So, let's have a look. Can I remember what they're called? I'm gonna go with Blue Lagoon, I think it is. I know this is definitely Zebra. This seems to be a very popular one on my website. It goes very fast. This is a Pink Passion. And this is Purple Lily. Okay. So we're going to do the border in this lovely Zebra colour. And we're going to place a um, C-clip band here. So on this one I'm going to place two. So I can just pop a little bit more light. There you go. I've got a new light as well. Daylight lamp so it's not going to be yellow tinted like my other lamp was. So hopefully it will show up my colours a little bit more. Let me see if I can zoom in as well. There you go. Perfect. Right. Okay. And also this is a solid base. You might have noticed on my previous tutorials sometimes it wobbles. It's because it was on a an actual massage table so um, yeah this is now a solid counter so hopefully it will not wobble unless I hit the tripod anyway so we're going to go out towards the left first and we're going to follow those first pins and then we're going to just go to the right and follow those first pins now we're going to be doing the seven configuration and for this, I'm going to be using the pink. Yes, I'm sure it was the pink. Okay, so we're going to go diagonally up and inwards. Then we're going to go across and out. And then we're going to go back to the first pin bar, first pin, and we're going to go up one. Then for second pin, we're going to go diagonally up and in. And then we're going to go across and out. And then we're going to go one up on our border. And we're going to do one more. So it's diagonally up and in, across and out, and up one border. And you're going to continue that 
to the end where you're going to be doing a mirror image of here. And then you're going to come back here, so we're going to start with the diagonal first. The eighth pin bar first pin, we're going to go diagonally up and in. And then we're going to go across and out. And then we're going to go forward one. I've been told with these jewel layers you've got to make sure they don't twist as you put them on or it's a nightmare. So really being careful here. We're going to go diagonally up and in, across and out, then forward one, then we're going to go diagonally up and in, across and out, and forward one. Okay, so I'm going to go and take it to the end and then I'll jump back on and show you how we close it off. Okay, be right back. And da da! That is the border done down the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to stop. That's where I've stopped now. I'm going to take it up one more. So I'm going to do a diagonal up and in. And then I'm not going to put one across here. I'm just going to go up with my border, my zebra. Then I'm going to go cross inwards diagonally up inwards and diagonally up inwards like that put a bit more light on that okay and then same here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go diagonally up and inwards not put one across there I'm going to go up with my zebra across inwards with my zebra and then diagonally up twice And then I'm going to leave this gap here. All right. So next move, we're going to do a very simple straight line, and we're going to do it on the second pin bar and the seventh. So it is straight all the way. I'm going to use zebra for this. And what I'm going to do actually is come out with this here. So this is the passion pink that I've just done which is, that was orange sweet obviously, but this is passion pink here. That's the zebra, but this is purple lilac. And the straight line that we're doing now is where my baby blue sweets are, okay? So, straight line all the way up there and straight line on the seventh. So, go ahead, get that done. When you're ready, just press play. All right then. That's done. Next we're going to be doing our zigzags and for this I will be bringing in, I think it's called the Blue Lagoon, I'm thinking it is. I'll have to check that later. Okay, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start on the second pin bar, sec first pin, and we all should know, go diagonally up and inwards and diagonally up and outwards. That is a zig, that's a zag. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way up. So we're going to zig up, zag out, zig in, zag out. Take that all the way to the end. And then we're going to go on the seventh pin bar. We're going to go zig to the sixth, zag to the seventh. And we're going to do that all the way up as well. Just try my hardest not to twist these. Okay, so I think you should know how to do a zigzag by now. So go off, finish that, and when you're ready, just press play. Okay, next is going to be another set of straight lines on the third pin bar and the sixth pin bar. And I'll bring back this rendition. It's a very colourful rendition. Right, let's see if I can get this into focus. There, okay. So this was the pink, this was the zebra, that was my blue, so this is the orange here, is the next straight line that we're doing, and I'm gonna be doing mine in zebra. And why we're there actually, the next part we'll do is this green bit. So Right, let's just do this. So third pin bar, 
straight line, nothing fancy, all the way to the end. And then the sixth pin bar, again, nothing fancy, all the way to the end. Making sure none of my bands are getting twisted. Right, okay. So go ahead and do that, and when you're ready, just press play. Oh, right then. Next, we're going to be doing the um, how to put this stitch. It's one I haven't done before, other than on this design practice, and I would say it is a stretched X, perhaps. So I'm going to be using my purple lilies and I'm going to be going from the fourth pin bar and I'm going to go up and out but it's going to be a very long stretch here and then I'm going to go back down one so I'm on my third pin bar first pin and then I'm going to do an equally long stretch up and inwards okay so normally I've seen it so we go long stretch and a little one but this is a long stretch and a long stretch okay then we're going to go back down one so we're now on the fourth pin bar second pin and we're going to do a long stretch up and out down one from there up and in down one from that one up long stretch out down from one long stretch up and in okay so always go from the peg that you just finished off and drop down one to do it then we're going to go on the fifth pin bar we're going to go diagonally up long stretch and out then we're going to drop down one long stretch diagonally up and inwards drop down one long stretch diagonally up and outwards drop down one diagonally long stretch up and inwards drop down one drop down one and we're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end. So when you've done that, just press play. Right, that is the stretched X's. And I just wanted to show you, go down the end, right here. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. So you'll go in once and then out. And then you've got this tiny bit here there's no bands on there okay so just leave that blank all right okay next part we're going to be doing the center and I'm going to be bringing back the white and black which is called zebra and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it across each pin from the second upwards not the last one or the first one so that's going across the fourth pin bar uh, to the fifth and then once I've done that I'm just going to push them down a little bit give me some room the last bands we need to layer after we've done that all the way up is two straight lines on here now I'm just going to get my rendition out just to show you where these are going to go so stop there that's my straight line so if I can get that into focus there you go all right so this pink here is what I'm laying for my straight lines and the purple lilac that you can just see here is the white zebras that I've just put across okay so we're going to go up the fifth pin bar as well with a straight line and then that will be ready to loom up. So crossbars first, straight line second. When you're ready, just press play. Okay, that's all the bands on now. And it should look like this. Let me zoom out, there you go. So now all we have to do is turn it around. Zoom back in. And we're going to start by putting a cap band on here. So for this I will be using the border colour which is Zebra Jewel Bands. And I'm just going to put a double one. And stick it over the top there. You also need a cap band on the first pin bar and the eighth pin bar. So I'm going to triple that. 
which I do on my finger. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. Okay, so let's get started. The first one you're going to be doing is these straight lines, and we're just going to grab them. So, fourth pin bar, first pin, and we're going to just take them back to themselves all the way to the end, and also the fifth pin bar. So you go ahead and do that, and when you've done your lights, just press play. The next move will be these crossbars, and I cannot for the life of me remember what the stitch is called or who came up with it, so please, if you know, put it on a comment below so I can put it in the description box. But we're basically going to be switching the bands over to each other. So we're going to go, let me get this zoomed in a bit more, that's the most I can do. Right, so fourth pin bar, second pin, we're going to grab that crossbar, which is my zebra, and we're going to bring it, picked up the purple there as well, pop that back, grab hold of that, we're going to bring it over to the fifth pin bar where the other one is but then we're going to go inside that pin and grab the bottom part of that band and bring it back to the fifth, fourth pin bar so basically it's a switch stitch so we are going to go into the next one we're going to grab it from the fourth take it to the fifth Go inside, grab the bottom of that band and bring it to the fourth. Okay, and we're going to go to the fourth pin, we're going fourth pin bar to the fifth, go inside all those bands, grab the bottom, bring it back over to the fourth. Okay, so go ahead and do that all the way to the end when you're ready. Just press play. Right. That part is done. Next we're going to be tackling these purple lily um, stretched X's. Okay, could think of a name to call them there. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the ones that go across here. So these are the top band of the X. And on every top band we're going to go in from the bottom and bring them up and back to themselves and then we have to jump up two to find the bottom band of that and we're going to go in grab that one and bring that diagonally down and back to itself so all the top bands go up and all the bottom bands go down and we're always working on that fourth pin bar so we're in the second pin now, we're going to grab that top band, we're going to go diagonally up and out back to itself. Then we have to jump up to, to find that bottom band, go in, make sure you're going into these switch stitches here and bring that down and back to itself. making sure it doesn't twist on me. Right, and then from there we're going to jump down one to get the top band again and bring that diagonally up and back to itself and from there you jump up two to find the bottom of that band and bring that diagonally down and back to itself, okay? So you're going to take that all the way to the end. I suggest you try and not get distracted on that because the first time I did it I got completely distracted and um, I had to undo it because I realised it had gone a little bit haywire but that might just be me okay right so we're going to fifth pin bar now I'm going to walk down the fifth pin bar we're going to grab that top band first we're going to bring it diagonally up and back to itself 
jump up to, so that was where you started, one, two, that takes you to the bottom band, and you're going to bring that diagonally down and back to itself, and then you're going to drop one, and bring that diagonally back up to your, itself, and then you're going to go down, so the next one's here, see I'm getting distracted now, no, jump two, there you go, we've gone up, we're going to need to go down, sorry, and we're going to bring that diagonally down to itself, and then you go down one, diagonally up to itself, and then you jump up two to get the down, okay? Right, so I hope I explained that all right. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera now and concentrate on doing this all the way to the end, and when you've done the same, just press play. Right, that part is also done, and I have to admit, I got halfway up here, got distracted, and started stitching it the other way around, so I've just had to undo it a little bit and redo it now. So this is what it should look like now for you. Apparently I just get easily distracted, but there you go. Right, okay, so we're just going to do some simple straight lines here. So we're going into the third pin bar, first pin. And we're going to grab that straight forward and bring it back to itself, go into the next one, pull back all those bands, grab that forward, bring it back to itself, pull back the bands, bring up the next forward and back to itself. And now we're going to go on the one, two, three, four, five, sixth pin bar. Yes, I had to count them. That's so sad. Right, go straight forward, back to itself, pull back the bands, grab it, go forwards, pull back the bands, grab it, go forwards. So I'm going to do that all the way to the end. And uh, when you've done the same, just press play. Time to move on to the next bit. And the next bit is going to be the zigzags. So for these zigzags, we're going to be doing a chasing zigzag with one exception at the beginning. So we're going into the third pin bar, second pin. I'm going to grab that top band, which is your zig here, and bring it back to itself. We are then going to go in. Got that core on my hook there. Right, then we're going to go in, and then we're going to chase all the way up, okay? So we're going to third pin bar to the second, go into that one, bring it to the third, go into that one, bring it back to the second. So we are literally jumping from between them rather than bringing them back to themselves in a teardrop. So I'm going to do that side, I'll straighten that out in a minute. And again on this side as well, so we're on the one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth pin bar, second pin, you're going to go in, grab that top band and bring it back down to itself. Oh, I really do like the looks of these jewel layer bands, but I think they're driving me posse with the twisting. I hope it uh, makes up for it when it actually comes off the loom. Right, okay. And then we're going to chase it, so bring it back to itself, and then from that point on, we're going to just go from one to the other, chasing it all the way up the loom. So you go ahead and do that, and um, when you're ready, just press play. Right, the next thing we need to be doing are straight lines on the second pin bar, and the seventh pin bar, and they are straight back to themselves. So we're going to the second pin bar, first pin, grab that front straight line, and just bring it back to itself. And I'll just try and do this without messing about and twisting. Right, and the seventh pin bar as well. The next step we're going to be doing will integrate the border completely. So we are nearly there. So go ahead and do your straight lines. 
and then when you're ready we'll move on to the next bit. Yay! I love it when we're going to the water park because I know we're nearly finished and I can see this lovely bracelet soon. So we're going to go into this cap band here and I'm going to start on my left hand side and we're just going to bring that border back to itself each time. So, but we're going to stop um, in a moment, so we're going to stop here and then this is why we need the cap band here. So zoom back in. I'm going to go inside that triple cap band, grab the band there and instead of it normally going this way, we're just going to bring it back. And then we're going to go back into the cap band and we're going to bring it forward. Okay. So then we're going to go into the second pin bar, first pin, and grab that diagonal. And bring that up and out and back to itself. Then we're going to go into the second pin. And we're going to grab that forward band first and bring that back to itself. Now we're going back into that second pin and we're going to grab that cross bar and we're going to bring it back to itself inwards. And inside that pin, so the second pin bar, second pin, we'll grab that diagonal and bring that up and out and back to itself. Okay, so the sequence starts again. We go forward, so it's always the top bands if you're a little confused where we're going. So forwards with the border, go back down one, go across with the small one and from that point we're going to go in all those bands, grab the diagonal and bring it back up to itself. Then we'll start the sequence again. So we're going to go forward with the border. Then we're going to go drop down one, go across, go inside that pin and go diagonal. And you'll take that all the way to the end. I'm going to do it on this side as well. So we're going to the cat band first. Bring that out twice. So go into all those bands and bring it out twice there. Okay, I'm getting a little OCD with these bands. They're so pretty though. I hope it looks great. Okay, then we're gonna go into the cap band and we're gonna take it from the eighth pin bar and take it to the seventh pin bar across. Go back into that cap band and bring it forwards. Now we're going to go on the seventh pin bar, first pin. We're going to grab that diagonal and bring it up and back to itself. Okay, now we're going to start the sequence with forward, back down one, across inwards, and then the diagonal up and back to itself. Going again, we go forwards back down one, across and inwards. From that pin we're going to go diagonally up and outwards. Then we're going to go forwards, back down one, across and inwards. From that pin we're going to go up and outwards. So do that sequence all the way to the end and I'll meet you to put the C clip on. Be right back. Alrighty then, I have done, oh, see I've just lost the C clip, there you go. I've done my border on this side here and I'm just going to loom this up with you. So I've done my last diagonal, then I'm just going to go across inwards, then diagonally, making sure you push back all the bands. And then I've got my two bands that I laid to start with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one side of my hook, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it and then bring up the other one and then slide them both together. And then just 
stuck the C clip on. I always find this the fiddliest bit for me to do. Right, I think I've got them all on there. So I've used a normal size C clip for this one. So it's a nice, tight, snug fit with four bands. Right, that's it. This is how the loom should look. Put some light back on this. Zoom out a bit, that's a bit better. Okay, so it's time to take it off the loom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the eighth pin bar and then the first pin bar and I'm just gonna hook them off. I'm not gonna pull this design off because I've spent ages putting it on. I'm not risking any bands snapping on me. So like I said before, this is the first time I've actually used the jewel layers as far as I can remember. I think maybe Maroon Spark from the Pearl Collection is possibly a jewel layer type of band. I use a little bit of that, but other than that, I'm not sure. So. I mean, obviously, if you want to jump off now, don't want to watch me do this, you can fast forward it a couple of minutes and see the end results. Alternatively, you can see it when I post it on Rainbow Loom Facebook account or my Instagram account, you will definitely see it on. Right, okay, now I've taken the two edges off. I'm now going to take the cap band off and I'm just going to move from one side to the next. Taking these off as fast as I can. So. See all that effort of trying to keep them as straight as possible didn't seem to work as well as I was hoping which is fine, just means I need to put a little bit more work into it and uh, sort those bands out. So, uh, so while I was filming this tutorial, I noticed when I went back to check um, Dreaming Out Louds, or the the looming artist, I think she's now known as um, Flippergram Chart, to remind me at one point the way that the bands got sewed up. I noticed that there is another bracelet now called the Vertebrae Bracelet. Um, so now there's three of them on Instagram, but this one is known as the vertebrae cuff bracelet due to its size. But this bracelet, you'll see in the centre that the name vertebrae is just perfect for what the centre really looks like. It does look like the spinal cord. I mean, that's not exactly a pretty thing to think about, so, but it does have that appearance. So, yeah. It's a good name for it. So I'm just going up the side that. Nearly done, I promise. sort out but I'm not going to do that tonight because I'll be honest it's about three o'clock in the morning here and I can't sleep so I figured why not do a tutorial show you guys this beautiful design 
I am just really sorry it took me so long to get this on. I mean I did film it once, I have to admit, I did film it once and um, I forgot to stitch something at the bottom and the thing fell apart so obviously that's not a very good thing to show you how to do things when the end result was it falling apart so I redid really it. Anyway that's what it looks like all messed up at the moment. Let's try and pull these bands a little bit and give it some straight. Now these bands seem to feel like they've got a little bit more give so I'm wondering whether this will fit around my wrist now. But with these bits here as you can see they do look like the spinal cord and I'm going to go in with my hook and just emphasize these a bit by lifting them up and wiggling them like that. And I'm just trying to open them out a bit more to really give it its namesake. So yeah, that's going to take me a while to sort, of sort that out. As you can see, that one's pulled out now and it's loose, which is what you want. You want this pink band to be able to move easily through it. Okay, so that's obviously not the perfected outcome. I need to tart it up a bit, sort out some bands. That's the back side, obviously it's not a really reversible design because of this, unless you like that look. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with this. And should we do the wrist test? This is on the dual layers. And it is just about right for me. I think once I strain out some bands it might be slightly too tight, but then I've got quite my wide wrists, so yeah I think it'll be fine. So just comparing the two, as you can see this is all done in the Sweets collection which is a jelly type band and these are done in the dual layer band so there is extra length to it and it's certainly more flexible. This one's got a little bit but it springs back so if you want a slightly wider one these are good bands to go with. Right anyway enough cha 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 -ha. Let's just round this all up, shall we? Right, okay. This is called the Vertebrate Cuff Bracelet and it was designed by the Looming Artist, aka Dreaming Out Loud. It was done a few weeks ago now, but I've only just got around to it, so a thousand apologies. And um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful design. I absolutely love it. I really want to play around with these now but I've got to put it down for the night. So I will post this on my Instagram account as well as obviously the YouTube channel that you'll be watching on now. Um, if you're not already subscribing to me please do so, hit the subscribe button below and I'd also like to hear your comments on my new location of this craft, whether you like the lighting better, um, whether the angle was better or even worse to be honest, anything Criticism is always welcomed. Um, so, right, yeah, I think the only thing we've got left now is to say goodbye. So, keep on looming. Bye.